All right, what's up? You're watching Drift Ninja TV. I got my friend Ryan here. Hi. And this Hi. is his dirt bike. It's a CRF 150, but it's kind of cool. Do um, you want to tell him about it? Yeah. Well, originally when I bought the bike though and stuff, it didn't have a top end on it though, and some of the parts were missing though. But as you can see, I took it to a mechanic, and he restored it with some parts, like the exhaust. And yeah, the work in the motor. Yeah, this is actually a pretty cool uh, bike. Uh, it actually had um, a a Japanese top end or a Japanese bottom end and a Chinese top end on it for a while, but now it's back to OEM, which is actually pretty cool. Um, that was cool, like riding the the mismatched engine and then the the stock one back to back. Um, then you can see this exhaust part is two exhausts. Um, and this is actually a two-stroke. And uh, me and Finny really like the colors too. What else, Finn? It's a clean little bike. It's got some number plates on it that we just put on not too long ago. Yeah, these are universal ones, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, we had to do some trimming, but um, if you fit like reasonably well, I think they look a little bit big for the bike. But um, it's got like the bubble for like the exhaust. And we used original mounting hardware and some blue zip ties to match like the Cosmo blue and purple color scheme on the bike. And uh, this is like um, some kind of number plate that's universal. Husqvarna. Yeah, that was kind of like a husky looking one. I don't know if it's universal or husky. And uh, I scored him like an extra set of handlebars tires front forks um i was like uh, i was working at the shop while this was in there and so i was like was like putting stickers on it and like um like putting little things on it here and there um we like welded two of these on together and um that, look, that feels like i'm touching like really gross stuff but um it's just dirt uh <laughs> But uh, yeah, this is kind of like a double bear trap, uh, like bear claw kind of thing. And so the single over here. It actually gives you pretty good grip, which I like. Um, let's see. We just cleaned the air box today. Um, and uh, like we were saying, this actually just got a fresh rebuilt, all OEM. Um, and it, it rides great. Uh, this little thing um, broke, I think. So... I smoothed that out and made it look pretty clean. And then this wire got crimped or like worn away by the sprocket spinning. So I fabricated this at this little piece that just holds it against that back wall so that wire doesn't jiggle around. Um, and there's like a pretty good, good clearance, like maybe a little bit less than the pinky between that, but it's held up for a couple, like maybe like 500 miles. Um, uh, he was trying to, um, take that aluminum cap off, and it was so corroded on that last one that it broke off, so that's why there's that awkward bolt there. Um, yeah, you can see we did some trimming. Um, but all in all, it kind of looks pretty dope with, like, the crazy color scheme, all these different colors going on. Like really reminds me of like space or like before when it didn't have the white on it, it kind of reminded me of a dinosaur. But um, <laughs> yeah, this is like a this is like a little funky bike. Um, so it's a 150. What else, Ry? Before we end the video, I think we gotta start it up for the folks. Yeah. All right. And kick the prime. Starts like a chant. <laughs> <laughs> is it on half choke? Yeah. It is? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know uh, what it wants. It's What is that? No choke? It was a half choke and I turned it off as soon as I started it. Nice. Uh, 
You can see the, our uh, camera mount on Finney's. Hey. It looks like Bane. Nice.